Spin Master, your review, coming up next. Hey everyone, it's Drivers Ed Young! Welcome back! <laughs> Ah, sorry, I'm a little under the weather, but uh, welcome back. Uh, I finally did get a, I placed an order with the Monster Jam Superstore, so I just got it. Uh, I feel like it might have came late because uh, there was one item that was out of stock, which they just didn't ship me. So uh, I don't have any more explanation about it other than I placed the order, it said they had it available, and then I got the package and it and on the slip it said, uh, item out of stock so anyway uh, I did get a package uh, with a truck that I wanted to be, wanted to include in the best and worst of 2022 for Spin Master so uh, this is a new type of video it's not gonna be like a top 10 or anything I just I don't know if I could have done a, a, a full full-on top 10 with Spin Master um, but I wanted to highlight the best and worst of Spin Master 2022 um i think there were only six cases so uh mixed 22 through 27 so that's a total of six uh the chase piece obviously is the true metal um other than the chase piece so i think each case had one uh each so there's six uh true metals if i'm not mistaken yes i believe that is true um and then the non chase pieces uh total trucks that they released that were non-chase uh, is eight per case which comes out to 48 trucks so of the 48 trucks um, I will say uh, I don't you know and I, I think Spin Master they must not have the ability to do a lot of the independent trucks or you know whatever the agreements the contracts the licenses whatever they need um, they may not have so I, I, I don't want to uh, put too much pressure on them about that. Maybe they just don't have it. But uh, just speaking frankly, uh, out of the 48 trucks, a lot of the trucks were just um, similar trucks that they've released in the past, just with different variations. You know, many different son of a diggers. There's like a son of a digger that has a like a blue body, or you know, just different variations of trucks they already have. So I think out of the 48 trucks. Um, which I have not seen Mix 27 in my stores yet, and I don't know if that's uh, typical or if that's what you guys have found. Uh, but uh, I, I have an eBay seller in my area, and I've looked on his page. He's never uh, listed any of the Mix 27 yet, so I'm pretty sure it hasn't hit my area. Um, so let me know in the comments if you've seen Mix 27 yet and where you've seen it, if it was... I, I mean, my guess would be it'll probably show up at Target first, but <coughs> excuse me. Anyway, um, so out of the 48 trucks, so I still haven't seen Mix 27. There's two trucks, non-Chase, that I want to pick up. Uh, I do like the Chase. I, I'll, I'll get that out of the way. The Chase, the heavy metal trucks, um, which I'll show, I guess. Uh, I, I do, that. I think this is a, a positive uh I, I, I felt like I do like the, the heavy metal uh, trucks, mix it up. Uh, so I do have the uh, some of the Digger. I do have the um, El Toro Loco. So I think this was 22, 23. Um, who else do I have? Uh, I did find this. This was a little damaged. Uh, I think this is the mix 24 um, Grave Digger. I don't, I think it's a little damaged. Yeah, it rolls kind of weird. Um, but, yeah. So, I checked that off my list. And then, oh, speaking of the uh, order, wow, it's really bright. Um, anyway, you could probably see that out of stock. <laughs> so, one of the chase pieces they had was the dragon. It was at the superstore. I, I haven't seen the dragon in store, so... Uh, it says out of stock three four four nine eight. I guess that's the item code for the dragon. So anyway, uh, I was supposed to have the dragon by now. 
uh, but they didn't have it. So still missing the Dragon, uh, but the Superstore I did buy this. It is the Max D. This is obviously my favorite. I'm a big Tom Metz fan, so this is my favorite Chase piece of the year. And then again, Mix 27, I think is Megalodon, uh, which I have not seen yet, so I'm still uh, going to pick up the Megalodon, and if I can find the Dragon, I'll try to pick it up. Uh, on the on the slip, it just said out of stock. It, it didn't say anything about if they're gonna, I don't know, I gotta check my credit card bill and see what they charge me for all this. If they, Because I think it, I think they were selling these for like eight, nine dollars on the, on the Superstore. So anyway, I think that's a positive. Uh, so, uh, Definitely, I'll give um, Spin Master props for the, the the chase piece of 2022. I thought that was pretty good. So, okay, and then, uh, so yeah, now getting into the mainline trucks. Again, there was like 48 uh, trucks in the mainline. Uh, Case 27, I do want to pick up two for sure. Uh, the Excalibur, I definitely want. And then that Avenger, uh, the split paint job Avenger. Um, so those are two out of the 48. I think I, I picked up five, five other trucks from the main line. So, so really out of 48, I, I feel like, you know, there, again, most of them were like variations and stuff, uh, you know, different color bodies, chassis, whatever, the clear chassis, which I don't know, I, I thought fell flat, things like that. So uh, I'd say that's the negative. I think the, the excitement and the, the exciting trucks uh, was, was a, a very low percentage. So, uh, eight out of four, I would say eight out of 48, I'd give them maybe the boogie van would probably be the eighth, uh, best truck, uh, of the main line non chase. So about eight out of 48, which is, I guess one out of six, one out of every six trucks. So anyway, uh, speaking of variations, the one variation that is actually decent, uh, has been these zombies because these zombies aren't just variations these are for the most part these are new casts so this is the new one from 2022 these ones came out uh previously i think now that i have them all i mean i do like how uh in 2022 they changed uh the roll cage the roll cage is now black i i, I really don't like the bones uh roll cage it just looks real fake and then the uh um Basically, the rims, it's its ugly. So, I think it's definitely a step up. 2022, they made the, uh, I think they're calling this the female zombie, if I'm not mistaken. So, I guess it's a girl. She's got a ponytail. Um, but I do like this casting. I think it's cool. She's got the arm in her uh, mouth, which is, which is pretty neat. So, um, this is definitely a hit of uh, 2022. Um, so again, going to the variations, a lot of variations of the different trucks, but I feel like the zombies were the only decent variations. I think they can stop doing the zombies now. Uh, maybe if they wanted to redo these with better roll cages, I may still pick them up. Um, I think out of just the bodies themselves, or just the, I guess it's not really the body because I think it's the arms that I really like, but I really like burn victim zombie out of these three. These are probably the the most three varied zombies. I know there was a white one, which they called bone zombie, but I didn't really see a lot of difference from just the regular zombie. So I'd say these are the three most varied zombies that they made. And I, I kind of like, I, I prefer burn victim zombie. I think, I think his hands going up is, is, uh, what does it for me. Uh, the eyeball is pretty cool here with the, I guess it's called the redneck zombie. And then uh, the arm and the mouth is pretty cool. So they're all pretty three pretty cool trucks again I wish they didn't make the roll cages uh, Bone for the first for those uh, first two Okay, and then uh, so that was one of the five trucks I picked up on the main line. These are two two more of the trucks um, I think I can't remember if this is a real truck or not, but I want to say no uh, but uh, yeah, I haven't been to a Monster Jam show in a while, but yeah, I want to say this is not a real truck, but it, it was something new, so I picked it up. Uh, probably one of my least favorite of the five I picked up. Probably the least favorite of the five is the least favorite, uh, I can say, definitely. But uh, yeah, this Avenger, having the, the, the new Avenger is pretty cool. Um, again, in this screenshot, if I had the other Avenger, I'd show it as well. And... Um, 
yeah, so still need that. If I see mix 27, I'll get that uh, split paint job Avenger. Um, so those are two, uh, truck two and three out of the five I picked up. And then the best two trucks, which I would also show Excalibur, uh, really the three best trucks on the main line that they released. I really do like this bad company. I think they did a good job of the bad company. Um, the whole package of this with the roll cage and the, the rims and the BKT. Oh yeah, I had to body swap this. I don't know if they had, I don't think they had BKTs on this, but uh, printing, I forget. But yeah, I had to body swap this because it came out kind of crunched. But um, but yeah, I think I think Bad Company is probably my favorite. Uh, the Excalibur, I'll have to see that. But uh, these Rage, Bad Company, and Excalibur are probably the three best trucks you can pick up uh, just because they're uh, new, new to Spin Master. Spin Master hasn't done them before. They're not just variations of other trucks. Uh, but the funny thing is they're all three pickup trucks, which is interesting that the best three trucks are, uh, I, if I'm not mistaken, they're probably all the same cast. I mean, these two are, are, well, these aren't the same exact cast, but they're, they're pretty close for all intents and purposes. Um, so I'm sure the Excalibur will be one of these casts. I'm guessing it's going to be the bad company cast. So, but I don't know. I don't have it yet. So, anyway, those are the positives of uh, the singles. Now, the doubles, I never picked up the doubles. Again, the doubles, I feel like, had all variations of different trucks. Um, no, nothing exciting. It was all variations. Uh, so, I, I didn't pick up any doubles packs. And then, the Walmart exclusive, the Earth and Surf, I believe, I didn't pick up any of those. I did see those from time to time and 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 to me it just reminded me of fire and ice really i mean you got the orange theme uh scheme trucks and then you got the blue scheme trucks so it really really reminded me of uh, fire and ice which uh as you know i really got burned out on so uh that was those were negatives so really the positives i think were the singles packs main line um and then i guess let's get into the uh, Superstore exclusives. So here's the uh, Christmas truck from last year, Superstore exclusive. Uh, so really, the reason I waited to do this video is I, I really did want this Dasher. Uh, this this year's Christmas Superstore exclusive. So this is the hit from the Superstore exclusive trucks. Uh, there was a there's a bunch of trucks from Superstore exclusives. Uh, these run. Most of the Superstore exclusives run 20 bucks. Um, so really for me, I, I, I'm just gonna pick and choose what I buy. I'm not gonna try to get everything. I really thought this was a nice looking truck. I think overall, overall this is the truck of the year, I would say. Uh, I like how it says Dasher here uh, on the nameplate. Uh, the, adding the flocking on the antlers is pretty cool. Uh, just very unique. Um, Overall, I, I love, it, it just looks nice. Whoever designed this, they did a good job. I think, uh, I can't complain with the roll cage choice. Uh, the chassis is weird color, but whatever, it, it kind of fits. And then uh, a really cool rim choice and uh, the, the red, green, and white BKT printing. Really cool. So very Christmassy. Dasher. I don't know why this is gold here, but it actually looks pretty cool. Uh, that piece um, it, it, It's a nice looking truck so Spin Master did a really good job on this so I when I saw this I think I first saw it on OCD's when he reviewed it uh, I waited till the Superstore got it and then I placed an order so I believe these are all sold out now But uh, I think this was my favorite Christmas truck in the past. This was last year's uh, but uh, my new favorite is now the Stasher. I think this is a really nice truck. So hopefully you guys got it out there. I think this was really the hit of the year. Uh, speaking of other Superstore trucks, they had the like the Halloween Raven, I guess. Uh, <laughs> that one was a miss. I wasn't going to spend 20 bucks for that. Uh, I guess they had a Kristen Anderson Gravedigger. That was okay. I never picked that up. And they had some other ones. Uh, but uh, I really want to touch on the, the big miss was uh, the Superstore decided to sell those uh, Hall of Fame trucks for $250, like as a package with a ring and a expensive box package, uh, triangle box packaging. Uh, 
that's a that's a huge miss. I I get it that they 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 limited it to a thousand and they want it to seem really special and a, you know only a thousand pieces. I think what they did was they they probably gathered data from online sales, eBay sales of the Toy Fair exclusive trucks, right? So the Toy Fair exclusive trucks, they make a thousand units of those. And and they see the online sales, those trucks sell for like four or five hundred bucks, right? So I, I I'm trying to put myself in their shoes and see why they did this. And and I feel like that's probably the data that someone pitched to them, like, hey, we could really sell, we could make a lot of money selling one truck. Yeah, but but it, it just it just seems out of touch, especially in this day and age where inflation's so high and a lot of people are struggling. And I know a lot of you out there that collect these trucks, including myself. I, I just I can't justify throwing 250 bucks at a uh, a Monster Jam Superstore exclusive. So I, I believe there was two Hall of Fame uh, trucks released. Uh, the first one actually had decent guys. Uh, the second one, I don't know. I, I can't even tell you who they were, uh, but. Obviously, I know the bit real fans know who they were, but they weren't like big names. Um, obviously, the first one had Dennis Anderson on it, so everybody knows that one. So I looked at the Superstore this morning to see how many of those. There's a trick you can do where you can add a bunch to your cart, and you can see how many are still available. So out of the 1,000, the Hall of Fame Class of 2020, there's still 781 left. So let's say roughly 200 sold, so about a fifth. Um, of the new one, class of 2021, uh, there's still 943 left, so just about 50 sold, a little over 50. Um, I can actually click on this and tell you the names. So 2021, the names are uh, Mike. See, I, I mean, I've heard of Gary Porter. I don't really know Mike Wales, I'll be honest. I don't know who Mike Wales is, so... Gary Porter, Mike Wales. I mean, I don't think the who who I mean, unless you're part of their family, who's gonna who wants a Gary Porter, Mike Wales truck? I mean, for two hundred fifty bucks. I mean, maybe if this was like fifteen dollars and it just came with the truck, yeah, I, a lot more people would buy it. I think you could still limit it to a thousand Gary Porter, Mike Wales, and sell it for fifteen bucks. It would probably sell out a lot quicker, but still, I mean. It, you know, wouldn't be the fastest selling truck. Um, but yeah, 250 bucks. It's just very tone deaf. So I think that's the biggest miss of the year. Uh, biggest hit of the year, Dasher. Biggest miss of the year, the Hall of Fame trucks. But let me know in the comments. Let me know what you feel. Uh, but yeah, I'm still looking for uh, the only trucks I'm still missing from the ones I would, was going to buy. Again, are the True Metal uh, Dragon, which it, the Superstore was supposed to send me, but they said it was out of stock. And then the Megalodon uh, True Metal, and then Excalibur, and I really want the uh, the Avenger. So I think for next year, I really felt like the Lucas Oil Stabilizer. So I get that Spin Master doesn't have a lot of options; they only, can only make certain trucks. But I really thought the Lucas Oil Stabilizer they were going to make this year. I feel like I saw a video. I don't I don't know if it was OCD, but mentioning the stabilizer. Maybe I'm mistaken, but. I really felt that was going to come out this year. So for 2023, they need to release the Lucas Oil Stabilizer. That's the one. That's the one truck that I really want for next year. And then Avenger, they still need to make the Green Avenger. Just the Green Avenger. You still need to make that. You haven't made that. I don't know why they haven't made that. They made like three or four different Avengers. They haven't made just the standard green one. So, uh, well, they made the pickup truck, but not the. They haven't made the Bel Air. So you got to make that Green Avenger. So uh, those would be the top two trucks. Uh, I did see the OCD review of the first mix of, which I think is Series 28 of uh, 2023. I don't think I'm going to pick up any of those. Uh, I think the chase piece is, I'm not going to be chasing it. So that's good. At least I don't have to worry about chasing that. I, I, I'm kind of curious to see if people are actually going to pick those up. Uh, or if they're gonna leave them on the pegs and be like, what is this? Uh, I guess they're just the chase pieces are a bunch of different food trucks I'm not sure at this point if they're gonna be the same cast or if they're gonna be all different casts, but uh, I think the first one was like a pig 
uh, big boxy pig looking truck. So uh, it's interesting, I guess. It's, you know, I know Hot Wheels makes a lot of interesting casts. I'll, I'll call it interesting. I, I just won't call it something that I'm going to rush out to buy. Now, if I see it on the pegs, I'll make the decision there. But I, it's, it's, not, it's not something that I, I need to have. So anyway, out of that first mix, I don't, I don't think there's a single truck that I can say, hey, I need to have. So they need to release that stabilizer. So hopefully that, that's my number one wish for 2023. So anyway, uh, I know this was a long-winded video, but those are the hits and misses from Spin Master 2022. Hopefully 2023 they'll release more interesting trucks, but if from the first mix uh, review of 2023, I would highly doubt it. I think there's probably going to be less trucks. So this this year I picked up eight mainline trucks in singles packs, uh, or I will once I have them all, uh, seven or eight. And then next year, it may be less, maybe less, but definitely stabilizer. Um, I, I, that's the one I need. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And as always, have a good week and rock on.